what is up guys, Redemption Gabe over here and in this video I'm going to explain to you what is the difference between DVD and of course Blu-ray disc which I have in front of me. So without further ado, let's hop on it and roll it. Number five, quality. Quality is never gonna be when it comes to Blu-ray disc. Blu-ray disc has always been perfected. In fact, I am actually going to show you the two versions of, of a movie I got in Blu-ray and on DVD. So this is the DVD version of the Mario Brothers movie. Notice that the Nintendo logo is a, a little bit blurred than what you see right now. And this is the Blu-ray version of the Mario movie with the Nintendo logo and the Illumination logo with a much better picture quality. So what you just saw was the was the DVD version of the Mario Brothers movie which I saw in the movie theaters that I wanted to watch again at home. And inside of this in this case includes a DVD and Blu-ray version of it if it would if it includes one <laughs> so that's the qu the questionable difference is obviously going to be quality you get a better picture quality I didn't want to put the sound on because of copyright reasons and that's the main reason why I didn't want to do it but other than that the picture quality is what it really matches on these two different versions of the disc <laughs> now also the fact that um the next thing we're gonna go it which is coming up is number four is obviously gonna be more storage options on a blu-ray disc compared to the compact disc digital versatile disc and now the blu-ray disc blu-ray disc obviously offers more storage options on it. This means, for example, the single layer disc, which I think the Mario movie was recorded on a single layer disc, because you don't need to put as much on it for a one hour and 32 minute film when it was in the theaters. So they put it on a single layer disc. If it's a longer film, you put it on a dual layer disc, which is 50 gigabytes. And the more layers we put in there, it's more storage that involves and things like that. Digital versatile disc, the storage is a lot smaller. A regular size movie will only fit 4.7 gigabytes. But also dual layer DVDs can also fit at least um, 8.7 and the regular mini DVDs which are not as common and also irrelevant is 1.7 gigabytes in size. CDs on the other hand, which are mostly for music, sometimes for movies, but they, but it's hardly used because if you probably know this with the CDs, if you dare to put a movie in there, it's honestly not going to fit. And not only that, it, the quality will have to be compressed, it will have to be recompressed, and therefore you ruin the quality, and therefore it has to be smaller the file size, by recompressing the quality, you lose the quality as in a film, or they can just release in separate discs to watch. Much like in computer games, with the CD-ROM, DVD-ROM, they they can just release it on the Blu-ray disc. Right. But no, because not everybody on their computer has a Blu-ray disc drive. And that's the reason why um, the size actually matters when you're fitting any film in there to to release it on a smaller format like a television or computer screen so the size is what really what really blew DVDs and CDs away so number three which I'm gonna go through right now you probably heard that from now number three is backwards compatible with with any previous uh, optical disc format now, if you try to put a 4K disc on your player or optical disc drive on your computer, your drive has to support 4K UHD support. And you need to have a 4K monitor for the best experience and also a decent graphics card. Or otherwise, you're going to have a struggle trying to play 4K 
um, Blu-ray play um, videos on your computer. But you get the whole point there. A Blu-ray player has to support the, the use of 4K on um, UHD. Uh, otherwise, if you try to put a, a 4K UHD disc, most people obviously buy the standard full 1080p disc on their on the Blu-ray disc and pop it in their player with no problem. But if you buy a 4K UHD disc, it's the same Blu-ray disc, but it requires a different type of player because it's a more of a dual layer disc with, with, with a different type of wavelength in the laser. Remember the good old saying, DVD players cannot play Blu-ray disc, which obviously why is the main reason why you do not buy a DVD player. Because you cannot play Blu-ray disc and it can only play DVDs and, this, and CDs only. That's why you do not buy a DVD player. It's a waste of time and money. You'd rather buy a Blu-ray player that can play every disc you can think of it, including Blu-ray disc and also a possible 4K UHD. Mm -hmm. The best of overall of a Blu-ray player and the beauty of it is backwards compatibility, which is what Blu-ray is mostly compatible for. You can you don't have to just be inclusively to Blu-ray disc and be fixated with it. It's very backwards compatible to DVDs and also the good old audio music CDs. So if you must know, if you think that your music CDs are not gonna play, guess what? It plays in your Blu-ray player without a problem. That is the beauty of backwards compatibility. When it plays without the hitch or without the fuss. Number two are gonna be, and the rest of them are gonna be cons, which is two and one. Now, <laughs> This is going to drive people away when they're going to get Blu-ray discs. And number two is you need a specific player to watch Blu-ray discs. And sadly, but it's true. You cannot play a Blu-ray disc with just a DVD player because of the laser and the hardware inside of that player. So because DVDs only utilize a red laser, a Blu-ray disc needs a blue laser. And DVD players lack that type of laser mechanism to read that disc. Optical discs require all the laser mechanism to read that disc. And for computers, you're gonna obviously need a BDR drive or a BD-ROM drive to just read um, optical discs that are on Blu-ray disc. But the only difference is that's the only con. I will go to the next con, which I'll hop on, which is copy protection, which that's gonna be covered on to the next con, which I'll go next. But obviously has to be. Um, now, now both formats have the most notorious copy protection in DRM games. Blu-ray disc utilizes AACS and BD+. DVD or digital versatile disc uses um, the content scrambling system or CSS for short. Now both systems are copy protection schemes so if you don't have the right disc to play the movie and your player detects a, cop a pirated content, which I don't think it does actually, um, it won't play the film because you don't have the right disc. Like, think of CD-ROM games or DVD-ROM games. Reason why um, developers are starting to put um, um, the disc check on your com on the computer because they're so concerned that people are trying to copy games on the computer. So what they did is they are using a similar method, so you have so you have to insert you have to have the right disc and a pirated version of the disc, or otherwise you can't play the game. It's very simple. The developers did that years ago with PC games that were on physical copies, but since computer games nowadays are on digital formats, there hasn't been that much DRM lately. Sort of. Don't take my word for it. But anyways, those DRMs can be, for example, or you can only play these divide these discs on these players. Like you can only be playing on the unauthorized players. That's one example. Another example is you cannot fast forward previews. Oh, don't even think of a fast forward in the FBI warning. They weren't allowed to do that. I mean, who really thinks about watching through all these previews? Anyways, all right, guys. Um. Nuff said. Um, you're watching Redemption Game. Please like. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and peace out.